Hey guys, John here from Read Dot Photo. Today we're looking at the Zoom H12. No, it's actually H6 plus H6. And here we have the 2013 version and the 2020 version. What's the differences and similarities between these two? Let's find out. Let's go. So now we unbox both H6s and we just go through the contents one by one. This is the 2013 version and this is the original H6. We have the recorder itself, we have the XY capsule and we have the mid-side stereo capsule. Okay, personally I like this because, um, okay what is this? This one has a polar pattern right in front as well as on the sides. Okay, and when we try to record piano using this together with the recorder, it sounds beautiful. So those who have not tried it, um, you can try it and let us know what you think. Other products will be in a package will be the USB cable for the charge as well as to extract your files. Um, this thing is quite fun, especially if you're recording outdoors or if you're just doing a podcast, you record uh, plugging in the, 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 the X1 mic and then you can just use this outdoors to reduce the wind and noise issues. And finally, it comes with a little nice hard case. It's foam padded on the inside. We think it's very, very convenient to protect your precious recorder and your capsules in this little box. Moving on to the 2020 version, we have over here, which is the, they call it the H6 Black. And yeah, so let's look at the recorder itself. So comparing these two side by side, uh, we can see that they are buttons wise, layer wise, they are essentially the same. And the finishing wise, this one feels a little bit rubbery. It looks a little bit gray, but this one feels more like hard plastics. So some countries and countries where it's very humid and hot, after a few years, some people rec um, I think had the issue of this thing being a bit sticky. So let's hope the 2020 version this plastic coating will hopefully solve the issue. On the sides, we have the usual XRR and uh, quarter inch inputs. We have the mono button and the scroll wheel, the smart scroll wheel. And we have the very, very ancient mini USB. We're hoping that the new version come with USB C, but it didn't. That's too bad. Maybe we must wait another seven years for them to change. Then here we have at the bottom the line out, the remote control and the other side we have the same XLR inputs, SD card up to 1 to 8 gigabytes, earphone out to monitor, control the volume of a earphone out and uh, start button. And at the top, another color difference where you have the black and the not black version over here you can plug in the capsules. So essentially they are identical. At the bottom you have the um, quarter inch mount to mount on the light stand, okay, or a tripod, and then the place where you put for batteries. So essentially they are the same. Uh, we haven't really weighed it or something. So they are, looks the same and feels the same. As for the capsules that's included, it's the XY capsule and it's black while the uh, 2030 version comes with silver. So we think it's exactly the same as the XY um, mic capsule. This will come with four batteries, but it doesn't come with any case as well. So it's very, very, um, in a sense, stripped down version of the H6 2013 version. So we think that we heard that they are going to stop this version um, while pushing this version. We don't know whether they're going to bring this back in the future. I think it's a good kit because of the, of the extra capsule and of the, of the hard casing. So let us know what you think. Uh, maybe you can feedback to Zoom what you really need in, in future when you want to record uh, multiple channels, multiple sources. Would you need a kit? Is it good to have a bag, more capsules, or I prefer a more stripped down version? Okay, let us know what you think and we'll see you soon again. Okay.